Salutations, boys! This is Captain Bugman speaking, and welcome back to Let's Play Costume Quest! In our last episode, we managed to acquire the schematics for one costume that we don't have yet. And... Right, we're still on the lookout for more houses to retreat from, because that's the only way we're going to be able to save our sister. Okay. God, it has unfortunately been a few days since my last time of recording, so if my voices are inconsistent, that's probably exactly what was bound to happen anyway. So I do apologize. Let's keep going with this, though. Manifest Destiny! Shh, you want the whole neighborhood to hear? Yes. Yes, I do. Alright, so... Wow, this is a really boring backyard. Ah, here we go. Yes, some more cardboard. Didn't we already have some cardboard, though? Wait, but... Hold on a sec. You need the password to get in. But for some strange reason, they also require the password to get out. Why? You need a password? No, nah, man, this is the circle of trust in here. Alright, never mind. Oh, also got the feather duster. <laughs> Best, that's a great time to get changed right there. Now this is patriotic. Truly, the maple tree is the most impressive sign of patriotism that this land can ever know. Okay, since you can't see it from here, it's the Statue of Liberty. That's, that's what we got the costume for. Actually, it's a symbol of freedom from tyranny, which is a different and more inclusive concept than loyalty to country. But it will still get us into that guy's party. Oh, totally. So yeah, there it is. Bam! One. Statue of Liberty. Unfortunately, I need to change. Because I'm not going to get over this ramp if I'm not. There we go. A robot. Also, I'd like to get around town a bit quicker. Alright, let's see. You know what? Let's see. So that's where we went in. So let's start trick-or-treating from here. But first, since I did say I was going to show you boyos every single uh, transformation sequence, I'm going to have to be the Statue of Liberty for this one. I don't remember what exactly this thing does in battle, but we'll find out. I guess not tonight. Not for this house, though. This house is just straight up candy! Don't know whether to be excited or upset about that, honestly. Because, let's face it, candy. Oh, I've hit these already? Oh, yeah, because I came back this way. Duh! My mind is going, boyos. Truly, these are these are my autumn ears. In case you can't tell, I'm actually, like, 60 years old. Which explains- Oh, goodness! Forget the lie I was just telling. We've got monsters! For freedom! Alright. Ah, it's another mage? I hate those guys. <laughs> it sounds like a statue. Well, it is a statue, honestly. Ah! Okay, I completely forgot about that one. The mash buttons until, uh... Until you fill up the bar attack. Uh, this one. Yes, okay. Thought I hit one of the movement keys by accident. No, I'm on fire! Alright, so that's not a bad form. At least I know exactly what I have to press every time for that one. As opposed to defending and Mr. Why don't you attack Everett? Huh? Alright, what does Anthem do? <laughs> okay, so it's healing. Right. That's what I do. I'm very ten- oh, shoot. Missed the- missed the, uh, what you call it? Blocking. I'm very tempted to have Everett dress up as the Statue of Liberty, but at the same time, I feel really bad about dumping, you know, the rather female, uh, costume upon the guy I literally just met. Don't care doing it anyway. Alright. Oh, shoot, that's not talk to people. You found me! Darn my bright red costume! 
If at any point you boyos have to question the voices I'm making, that's okay, I'm doing it too. Do you call this hiding? Really? Yeah, I'm a ghost every year. Same amount of candy, less effort. Oh, no, you're just kinda sitting. Probably counting candy. You do that, boyo. You enjoy yourself sitting in the middle of... Well, not really in the middle, but, you know. In the middle of some leaves. Just, you know, enjoying the autumn air. Ooh, hello, ramp. Did miss these. Good thing I can hit through walls. It must be my super robotic strength. God dang it. <laughs> no, no, come on. Okay. Wait a second, but I was here already! Why? I know I smacked these! That is my house right there! I remember remarking upon the weird shape of these... You know, you know what? Screw that. I'm done. I'm done with that. Okay, I'm only gonna find bits and pieces of candy in those, so I'm done smacking those. I'm just gonna... Yeah, that's it. I am done smacking random objects for one or two pieces of candy, and instead, we'll only endeavor to do so uh, when it's obvious it's going to pay out in a little more than bits and pieces at a time. Okay, so, can Everett just be in the costume? Yes! Lady Liberty! Such a glorious American symbol, built by American hands! Yeah, thank you, Reynold. Um, actually, it was made in France. That's okay, m my costume was made in China. Don't tell anyone. Now get on in here! Alright, party with the... Wow, woo, people are breaking stuff, finally. This party is off the hook. <laughs> I broke a bush! Oh, man. You're, you're a weird kid. However, uh... Perhaps, as probably should have been mentioned, this is a cherry... Wow, really? The patriotic kid has a cherry tree in his yard? What? There's a... There's a squirrel in the chair. Fine. Anyway, for those of you who remember Miss... Ha! Can't get me now, can you, squirrel? That's some really pass... That's some really, uh... Passive-aggressive levels of, um... Anger right there. Everett, your knight costume is extremely useful. It is my honor to serve the quest. Anyway, so we got a cherry, and for those of you who remember, Miss Potterpan was looking for, uh, ingredients for pies. Also, for those of you who remember, this person's name is Miss Potterpan. Shoot, I completely forget her voice. Cherries? This is your ingredient? Did you happen to notice that it's Halloween night? We're sorry, Mrs. Butterpam. This is all we could find on such short notice. May we come in, please? Yes, fine. Back to your trick-or-treating. Leave me to save the school by myself. Again. Yeah. Speaking of passive-aggressive... Uh, passive-aggressiveness. I have no idea what word I was looking for there, but that will work. And... Monster! Only if you count cowboys as monsters, I guess? Yeah, I, I can't actually. That, that was just a wrong... Uh, but, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh my god, why am I so bad with words today? Prediction! Oh my goodness, that should not have been that hard. Rolling around at the speed of Halloween. Yeah, I got nothing. I don't! What what am I supposed to do here? I've got... I'm a rocket skating robot with a knight in tow. Actually, I feel like there is a reference to be made... Oh, no, sorry, I have Lady Liberty. Never mind. I was about to say, I feel like there is some kind of reference I could be making, but I can't for the life of me remember what it is. Or really figure out... There's the monster! Goodness, I just called it a, a house too early. My apologies. I will work on my predicting skills just for you, boyos. Alright. Let's do... Th no! No! We are not letting the enemies have a white mage. 
I refuse to allow this to happen. And we block. Yeah, that's right. You can't judge this. Well, okay, you kind of judge this, but not as hard as you could. And more rocket punches. Bam! To the face. And a moly a ten. There we go. Would you stop attacking Reynold only? I have an entire thing on Everett for and you. Uh, these monsters don't know how to fight fairly. Oh, now you're going to attack Everett only because I'm complaining, isn't it? These are these monsters are such jerks. As if them. Kidnapping my sister wasn't enough of a reason to call them jerks, but you know what? I don't need anybody's sass right now, especially if it's coming from monsters. Alright, more houses! Yay, people! I like finding people. That means I don't have to fight a monster. And that means I can get this Halloween kerfuffle out of the way with that much faster. Did anyone just hear like something fall or explode or something? Fire breath! Fire breath! Hey, why aren't you dying from my fire breath? Just saying the word isn't enough. Duh. Oh, cool. Say, see, now you say one piece of candy each, but then you dump a whole stream of it into my bag. Ah, these adults, man. They don't understand the meaning of one, apparently. And this is gonna be a monster. Oh, I called it! See? My prediction skills are already improving. Just, just cause I have to put on a good show for you, boys. That's all. Oh my goodness, there was something I completely forgot to touch on. Uh, let's start with the white mage again. Don't like having them on the battlefield. So, there's actually stats in this game. Like, there isn't, besides just health, there's also attack and defense. And I think there's a third one too that is just escaping my mind at the moment. But yeah, there's actually stats in here. I just need to. I, I will show you once I am done with this fight. Yeah, yeah, get hit by that. Th I'm not gonna kill it this turn anyway, so might as well kill Everett, who was on fire. Seriously, setting the Statue of Liberty on fire? That's a low blow, man. Ah, uh, shoot, that's not the right... Yep. Yeah. Th no! I didn't mean to hit, hit Tab, I'm sorry! God dang it! This game is unforgiving! Oh wait, didn't I need, like, Glop? For those of you who could see that card, didn't I need Glop for one of the, uh, for some kid? Oh, hello. Any of mine if you've got a Fruity Foam card. Nah, that one's pretty rare, I think. But if I find an extra, I'll totally trade you. These card companies do this on purpose to sell more packs. I don't need to fall for it, but I need... I don't want to fall for it, but I need that Fruity Foam card! Thank you for explaining trading cards in a nutshell, right there. I will admit to having fallen for that ploy too. Well, not for collecting reasons. I have I have played trading cards in my day as well. Uh, I just don't tend to because I don't actually have the money to just follow up on that and video games at the same time. Uh, the perils of having a cardboard costume, you- Whoa, hey, I found a ghost! He's hiding. You can't see me, I'm a ghost! Cheater! Well, at least I was the last one. Surprise, my parents got it for free when they gave money to public radio. Awesome! This holds way more candy than my old paper bag. Ah, yes! Two things I completely forgot. Uh, you can upgrade your bag by completing these hide-and-seeks, which does give you access to holding more candy, which is important! 
Because I don't think you can get some of the later battle stamps with the amount of candy you could hold with the paper bag. Uh, and beyond that, where is... no, that's not there. There we go. Okay, so yes, your journal is not only good for uh, showing you what quests you have either completed or have seen or are currently going on. Ah, see, yes, I knew it. I did get one Glop Creepy Treat, treat card, and now I need to go find that other kid who wanted it to trade him. Uh, but it also contains your battle stamp page, which I've already shown you, boys. Status, here we go. Oh, your third one is candy holding? Oh, okay. So you have HP and AP, which is health points and attack points. So it's not actually defense, but... Your costume does give you access to more, uh, to more health and more attack, as well as your battle stamps and your tote bag. I, the tote bag we just got gives us plus three to our attack. I guess the old one gave us plus zero because it's the base one. You know, what? Honestly, what could it have added? See, paper bag, tote bag. I think there's two other kinds. I don't entirely remember though. I guess we'll find out as we continue on. But yeah, my ball stamp gives me plus five to attack points. It gives Everett none because his uh, does a dodge, possibly sometimes. Uh, and the costume. The knight, obviously, is sort of increasing defense, which is why I thought there was that stat, but is instead health. So I have more health than Everett does because I stole his costume. Aha, sucks to be him. Don't tell him I said that, though. Oh, right, I forgot. This is probably why. So, right, <laughs> wow, I am completely blanking on words as I said earlier. So like I said, each costume has its own focus. This one would attack my, increase my attack power and we could see that if I was in fact dressed up in that costume. Uh, type, I don't think actually matters. When, when it says like type ranged, it, it's just still attack. Like. And melee doesn't help me range... Okay, type, I have no idea what it means. I have no idea why each one is here, because I don't think there's, like, a dichotomy between the two. I don't think, like, melee is better against ranged, but worse against melee, or something to that effect. I don't know. I don't know if there is an advantage in that regard, or not. So, I don't know why this type thing exists. But it does explain uh, each one's exploration ability, what it does in combat, like Anthem here restores some amount of health to all party members. Uh, missile Barrage damages and adds fire to all enemies, as well as letting you see uh, what creepy treat cards you have, as well as what things you have duplicates of. So like the kid who wanted an extra glop card, yeah, we can, ah, god dang it. One of these days I will remember how to exit that menu, but yeah. The kid who was looking for an extra creepy treat glop card? Let's go talk to him, because I have an extra now. Oh god, I have missed an entire section of houses. Why would I do this to myself? Ugh. I am just an awful person to myself. Where am I? Okay, so there's the mummy kids. So what we're going to want to do is basically go straight through here, take a right here, and yes, right here. This is where you were. I'm not gonna lie to you, I really need that glop card. You find one yet? Actually, I did find an extra glop card. Wanna trade? Bro, sweet, you are the best! You can totally take my extra cho Choco Nana card for it. Woo, completed the quest, got more experience. So yeah, if I remember, oh, this is probably why I didn't check to the left of the park. Huh. Well, for those of you who are wondering why I'm even bothering with uh, creepy treat cards and helping others collect them, besides the experience point boost, I think you unlock a costume if you get every single card. Not entirely sure. I suppose we'll find out when we get to that point in time. But we're definitely not getting it, getting to it in this area. Oh my god! Oh no! We just got the strangely emotional monster. Well, probably monsters, because there's never just one. See, there's two. Ah, man. Two warlocks. Alright, let's get the... Huh. They're differing levels now. Well, let's hit these guys. 
let's hit the one who's a bit weaker, because let's face it, uh, he's probably gonna die first. Yes! Dodged! This is what happens when the, uh, when the monsters obey exactly, uh, what I want them to do. Do my bidding! Oh my goodness! I'm sorry words and phrases are so difficult for me right now. I have no idea what's going on. But! Monsters are defeated, regardless of my inability to talk. Actually, I have been talking for like a good amount of this episode, so it's not for a lack of trying, certainly. Alright, let's hit up one more house. Let's make it over here. And then I think I'm gonna call it... You know what? I'm the next monster I find. Yeah! Hooray for favoritism! And nostalgia. Alright. Now wait a second, I remember this. You came out of here, and then there was one of those Manifest Destiny Abraham Lincoln kids. And then I guess we only did half the street. But not, like, the other one that actually has houses still. Alright. Like I said, upon the next monster I will be calling it an episode, so right here is when we do it. Oh! Called it! Dude! Not cool! It's not cool to break into other people's houses and then try on their clothes. It's... Actually, it's not really cool to break into people's houses in the first place. But... I don't know. I don't even know! That's just kind of jerk behavior right there. And I will not abide by it, good sirs. For that, you will get the threshing you so deserve. And... one... What? No! Come on, Lady Liberty. You can do better than that. For that, I'm not even going to punch you. There we go. Alright, victory. How many houses do we have just before... Alright, I have one more house to trick or treat. You know what? I can't end on such a note. I will... God dang it! One of these days, I will learn how to exit correctly. Okay, so it's not that house. Aha! Here we go. One more house, and then we will call it an episode. I know, I know what I said, but, you know... What an anticlimactic last house. Oh, you kids just look great. Sensors now showing all houses are free of candy. All grubbins report back to HQ for immediate evac. Alright. Well, it's a good thing I'm right next to the gate. Let's see what other quests I have first. Oh, a fruity foam card. Alright, we'll deal with that next episode and then head out to go save my sister. So until then, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And as always, this is Captain Bugman, signing off.